Hey ladies, so this video today is about hair care, caring for your extensions as well as caring for your hair. Um, so I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to care for your hair as well as caring for the exten extensions. Um, techniques such as how to shampoo the hair and how to condition it and also how to comb the hair. Um, as you can see, my hair is still holding up. It looks really good. The curls are still defined in it. Um, the only thing that I had to do was um, I went in, did a cold wash. Um, I used some cold water with some conditioner and I just ran it through my hair um, and just, you know, just put a little bit of conditioner in it and that's pretty much it. Still looks really good. Love it. So, to start off, let's talk about shampooing the hair. You know, being a stylist, working inside of the salon, I've overheard conversations and I've actually um, heard from some of my new clients that they would go one month or two months without shampooing their hair. Ladies, that's a big no-no. If, if you go to someone and they're doing your sewing and they tell you, oh, you shouldn't shampoo your hair, or if you're buying hair from someone and they tell you, oh, you shouldn't shampoo your hair, don't go to that person because it's something that they're not telling you. You want to make sure that your scalp is clean at all times. When you have a sewing in your hair, you want to make sure that you're at least a minimum of shampooing your hair every two weeks. When you're wearing virgin hair in your hair, you want to make sure that you're shampooing your hair every week. The reason why you're shampooing your hair every week is because, ladies, the hair is from a different origin. If you have Indian hair in your hair, Malaysian, um, Brazilian hair, you know, these people shampoo their hair consistently. You know, some shampoo their hair every, every day, you know, two or three times a week, and you want to make sure you're doing the same thing. Um, so I'm just going to show you some techniques. When you're shampooing your hair, you want to make sure that you shampoo your hair from the roots on down to the ends of your extensions. So you should only be working to shampoo through the roots of your hair. You got to get into those braids, if your hair is sewn in, get into the braids, you know, really get your fingers in there and try to work the shampoo through. Let the lather run down with the water and do this hand motion like this for your extensions. Don't scrub it like you're scrubbing a shirt. Don't bunch it up like this. Just have this type of hand motion right here going on. The reason why you want to have this hand motion is, is because you want to make sure that you're keeping the extensions smooth and you're keeping the cuticles laid down at all times. When you bunch it up or when you scrub it, you, what you, you're actually causing um, potential tangles in your hair. So you want to avoid that. So shampoo your hair, use some warm water, and then with the conditioner using the same technique, you're going in from the roots of your hair on down like this. Let the conditioner sit on your hair for 15 to 30 minutes. The reason why you want to let it sit in for 15 to 30 minutes is because the hair is not on anyone's head, so it's not receiving any nutrients. You want to make sure that you give the hair nutrients. You're giving the hair nutrients by one, using a shampoo, going in with warm water, so you're opening up the cuticles so the hair can receive the food, which is the conditioner. You let it sit for 15 to 30 minutes, and then you rinse it out with cold water. Cold water is going to lock in the moisture, and it's going to keep the hair shiny and silky. Um, these products is what I like to use. I like to use the Miss Chicks shampoo. It's really nice. It's gentle on my natural hair as well as my extensions. This is it right here. And then as far as the conditioner, what I found, which is really good, this conditioner is by Argon. Um, it's a cream of nature um, conditioner and it has Argon in it. It's a really good intense moisturizing conditioner. It's really good on natural hair. Um, their line actually have a shampoo that's sulfate free, which is really good on the hair. Um, again, I forgot to mention, the shampoo that you use should be a gentle shampoo. You want to make sure if you can get a shampoo that does not contain sulfate, that's excellent. Or if you can get a shampoo that's designed specifically for hair extensions, even better. I know Sally has um, a brand, I think it's um, Cinderella Hair. Um, which is really good for extensions as well, and you can use it on your hair. Dove and shampoo is really gentle. You can use that on the um, your hair and your extensions too. Now, what I like to do is once my hair is conditioned and you know I let it air dry, 
if you want to comb your hair up, you have straight hair, you want to comb it out, you always want to work from the ends of the, the hair, go into the middle, and then go up to the top, the root of the hair, brushing like that. So the ends, go into the middle, and then go up to the top. You're going to use that technique all the way around your hair. The reason why you don't want to go from the root of your hair on down is because that's just pulling. You're putting a lot of stress on the hair. Tangles usually come, tangles usually start at the ends. So if you work from the ends to get it out, you're not getting any more tangles as you go up to your hair. Um, I use this product. It's, it's a edge control. It's by Olive Oil. Really good. It's thick enough to lay my hair down, the edges down, but it's not um, as thick to actually clog up the pores around my edges. So it, it does exactly what I need it to do. Um, it's a good product. It has a nice smell to it. Um, they say it's a, a root stimulator. We'll see. Um, but so far, so good. Now, ladies, I want to talk about the three-fourth wigs. I know that a lot of you guys are doing the three-fourth wigs and stuff like that. Um, excellent. I have one on my head. The only thing that I want to mention is that be careful with the dome caps. See this dome cap right here, or this elastic rubber around the edges. Make sure that you try to get as much of this off as possible because this elastic, the rubber band, is just only thing it's going to do is cause friction around the edges of your hair. Friction is going to eventually break the hair strands off and leaving you with no edges. So be careful. Um, what I suggest, if you're going to do the three fourth wigs, try to leave some of your hair out, the edges out, around the sides and around the back. Um, don't, when you're going and sewing it around the perimeter of the hair, try not to pull the thread too hard because, again, the friction is still on the braid. This is an elastic rubber and it could, it could actually pop your hair strands. So, again, you want to make sure that you're shampooing your extensions weekly. Why you want to shampoo it? Because you want to keep the integrity of the hair. You want to make sure the hair has a really nice shine to it. It has a nice flowing body to it and it's not weighed down, especially we're in the springtime, it's approaching summertime, and then the humidity can actually weigh the hair down. So shampoo and condition your hair weekly. Um, combing your hair, you want to make sure that you comb and brush your hair from the ends of the hair, middle, on up. Again, you want to find a good edge control that's thick enough that's going to lay your edges down, but not too thick to clog up your pores. And last but not least, ladies, the, the dome caps, you want to make sure that you get as much as the, the rubber off so that you're not breaking the edges of your hair. Um, I hope that this information was helpful for you guys. I really like the fact that some of you guys are, you know, watching my videos and going to Facebook and requesting me as a friend. I love it. Um, continue to ask me as many questions as you like. Um, until next time, guys. You know, take care. Again, I love those questions. So just um, be friend me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Bye.